So I have a confession that I'll share here that oh. I don't think I've talked about anywhere else. Um, in the very beginning stages, like when I first came, became a part of the atheist community, um, I was a bit of an SUW. I mean, not, not quite, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was, I was on the side of, of, you know, there was, there was a kind of a divide that was happening between feminists and, um, uh, and skeptics, I guess you might call them, um, in the atheism community at that time. They called oh, it Elevator this. Gate. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I remember um, So that was happening. And right in the initial stages, I was with the feminists. I mean, I understood um, the points that they were making intuitively. Like as a woman, I've had certain experiences and sure. um, I couldn't see anything wrong with making atheism a more inclusive space for, for women and minorities. And then, and then as I witnessed, well, how are they going to bring this about? I started to see that there's no way this will work, you know, or if it does work, <laughs> it will destroy a lot of important um, values that, that, that atheists tend to hold and have, right. Like due process, right. Um, like true critical debate, open discussion, you know, the, we're going to lose all of that. And it is really important that we don't risk these very important values. Um, uh, so, so then I, I started to see, in my own mind, I started to think about um, what exactly is going on here. But at first, I was just um, a little bit distant. I was just working on my little nonprofit, chugging away. Um, <laughs> and then as I started to become more active and become more open and engage in these public debates, uh, people started to get a little bit more frustrated with how I was engaging and the points that I was bringing up. 